Hell yeah, we giving you what we gonna come to give you. Break it up, slackers. I got cameras all over this joint. She must be stopped. <laughs> Which emoji best describes your character? The little smiley one with the little cheeks for Janine, the little um, with the rosy Blush. cheeks. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say the, the fingernails with the, yes. Yes. <laughs> the hand yes. with the, yes. Probably the one that's like uh, trying to cover up their mouth or uh, is embarrassed, embarrassed about what oh, they just yeah, said. Yeah. You know, the one eye poking out. Yeah. <laughs> Which emotion? Emoji. 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 Oh. You know, like the kids use. This one. Blake's there. Middle finger. Yeah. The one with uh, the halo around her head. Nice. Yes. You know, you can customize the emojis. Mm -hmm. Who can do the best Gregory side eye? I mean, Tyler can do it the best, but. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of Gregory, I just think of this face, like. <laughs> like the get me out of here <laughs> moment. That was a roll on. That was a roll on, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Don't make that face. Speaking of Gregory in season one, he mentions a very controversial statement. I just don't like pizza. What? Do you have any controversial opinions that people would be shocked to know? I think that pineapple pizza is good, and I think that it's okay for people to enjoy it. I really like it. I think that Dave Matthews has many hits that I enjoy. <laughs> Facts. I don't have any controversial opinions. I'm, I'm very go with the flow. That is I, not true. I, That's not, no, he just can't say them. Again, <laughs> the emoji. I don't like chocolate. And everyone, that's the reaction what is always. What's wrong with it's, you? That's, I what, know. what did you I say? Know. <laughs> say that again. I don't think I heard you, son. I hate sushi. Whoa. What? I hate it. I don't like anything you know, that tastes like the ocean. Yeah, well, anything that tastes like the ocean in what? general? Yes, I don't like ocean tasting food. I don't like that caviar. That's, they're fish eggs. They just gave it a French name to make it well, act like people like it. What does ocean taste like? It tastes like seaweed and means, ocean though. I know what and means. oysters. I, know what means, I don't like yeah. any of that stuff. That was when, before we had readily available food sources that try to talk people into eating that. You know, there's always two sides to every story. And one of those is the right side, which is mine. Who do you think is the funniest person on set? Oh, me. Did you say, oh, me? <laughs> I'd say, I mean, I would next question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's what I think. I don't know what they think. I feel like I got a real knack for this. I think her or him. I feel like I'm laughing at Janelle, usually from the beginning of the day to the end. Mm -hmm. Janelle just like has an energy and a spirit, you know, mm -hmm. behind the scenes that just keeps us all laughing. Who's, who's, uh, uh, what's the word? Desperate for laughs the most. That's what I'm not even desperate, Jamal. but I, I am. I am definitely trying to make. She loves to make me laugh. I just like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough times out here. People need to laugh. The people need to laugh. It's most likely for me. It's Chris Perfetti. Yeah. Chris is very funny. Chris is very funny. Very, he does very stuff funny. that's surprising too. It's quiet yeah. too. Still. Yeah. Guilty. And then sometimes yeah. he's very physical yeah. with yeah. his Chris comedy. Do something yeah. completely yeah. unexpected, and you're yeah. like, what did he just do? Yeah, they're gonna laugh. They're gonna laugh with us. It's a pretty biting satire. It's no, no, they're going to laugh at you. What's your one of your favorite lines in the show so far? A deep cut Ava line is when she comes in. It's the first thing, the first thing she says in the episode, and it's, "Damn, the last time I was up this early was to cuss out the mailman. I don't need all them bills coming." Uh -huh. And it's just so random yeah. and <laughs> such an entrance. It's just, it just makes me laugh every time I think about it. I mean, there are Ava lines that have been pulled directly from my mouth in the writers' room that are my favorites because um, sometimes I can get a, a little Ava-ish in very specific <laughs> Yeah, ways. now we find out who Ava. No, no, <laughs> but really the Ava. <laughs> there's an episode where, you know, Janine tries to correct her on something. Let me see these permission slips to the zoo and they better be real because I can tell if you faked the Herbie Hancock. Oh, it's John Hancock. Girl, I know, I just say whatever I want. She says, I know, girl, I just say whatever I want. And these are the things that I say in the room a lot of the time, like, I'm like, I know, I'm aware there are just like so many white actors and I know that I'm talking about somebody else, but I don't have the time. I have a lot of other things to do. <laughs> I can't really. So they're all Timothy Shadow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, as long as y'all know what I'm talking about, then we can move forward, yeah. What exactly is the problem? What's one of your favorite lines in the show so far? It can be from your character or someone else's. Mm. Sweet baby Jesus mm -hmm. and the grown one too. Sweet baby Jesus and the grown one too. <laughs> the key to not getting your ass kicked is knowing when someone can kick your ass. That's right. That that's was a good one. That's like a bar. That's that a, is. It is. It's a life lesson. 
You would be my ass with me. <laughs> the key to never getting your ass beat? Knowing when someone can beat your ass. I think it was to Gregory, okay. an educator of the year. Maybe someday you'll grow into deserving this award, but you know what? They're not gonna give it to you then, because you can't choose when people acknowledge you. Ah. The line that changed my life was, that's who runs the world, kids. <laughs> That's who runs the world, kids. If you were stuck in a school overnight by yourself, and you had to pick a character out of the show to be locked in the school with, who would it be? This is easy. I would say Mr. Johnson. I feel like Mr. That's Johnson very is, true. He knows the school the best. Yes, and so he knows like, not gonna be stuck there long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. This ain't my first rodeo, hombre. Mr. Johnson. I really think Mr. Johnson, yeah. too. Yeah, he'll get you out. He knows the school like the back he of his hand. He knows. Really. That's true. He knows what literally the bodies Everything. are buried. Yes. That's yeah. right. Hey, yeah. Ava. Yeah. Doomsday prepper. Yeah. Why Ava? She's got a little room downstairs. With all the stuff. Yeah. Everything in it. She is yeah. a doomsday prepper. Oh, so she's got she like, is. she's got hot dehydrated food. Probably go five, ten years. Gregory is the only person that can stay in my bunker, so stop asking. I don't want to spend the night in the school. No. There are some creatures in the school that would not be great to be around. That's, that's not right. that's not <laughs> nice to say about Melissa oh, Shimenti. I'm so sorry. She's your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell you think you are knowing my name? Who's the first in the cast to break out in a random song, and is it Miss Shirley Ruff? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, and what song is she singing? Ooh. Whatever, she, his eyes on Don't the- Don't tell it yeah, on the, the mouth. Mouth. <laughs> There's so I'm many in this point. Like whatever you want. What's your favorite song to sing? I have not- You were just singing. Well, okay. There's no- There's no business like show business, like no business. I know. All right, up tempo version. Let's I go. like the slow version. Okay. You like the ah uh, ah. Uh, That's uh, right. Uh. There's no uh. people like show people. I shared a dressing room wall with Cheryl all last season, and I would hear the sun will come out. <laughs> I'm like, it's 5:30, and I'm just hearing this. I'm like, the you know sun what? has not come out. It yet. hasn't. Come <laughs> yet. It's literally dark. Hit that high note. What's a scene in your mind that you replay from time to time? You're like, we nailed that. I remember in our first season, Janine was playing a game with the rest of the teachers and we all were sitting around a table eating fried chicken. And I don't know if it was the combination of the fried chicken and mm -hmm. and how, how sad it was watching you perform that scene. It's <laughs> such a hilarious moment in my mind. Yeah. Um, because Janine's being so vulnerable and each of the characters have such a... Uh, Indian, yeah, yeah a, a disparate Indian. reaction to it. Somebody give me a chair. <laughs> the whole first season, I mean, we've kind of lost that, which is fine, but just Janine running in, breathing hard all the time, makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, we didn't lose it. Like, <laughs> it's just coming, yeah, it's coming back. Wait up, I'm going out to lunch too. I have two. One of them is Janine and Gregory trying to dance and Ava's part in it all. You're spitting out the water. Uh, like, uh, that yeah. plays in my head a lot. Pour me something cheap so I can spit it out. From the, oh, that was so slapstick. I love it. It was great. Hit me again. And then from the first season, it was definitely Tariq's performance. Oh, um, yeah. I love being in editing for it too, picking out reactions. I still love to watch that to this day. To our life, you feel me? I'm curious if there's like a joke or storyline in the show that's maybe based on a real life person. Oh yeah, I mean, well, Gregory not liking pizza is based on one of our writers, Brian, not liking food. In the script, it was originally that Gregory says, I don't like food, and both network and studio said, that's insane, so we had to change it, but Brian doesn't like food. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> Hilarious guy. One of the funniest people you'll yeah. ever meet. Oh, Hates food. Like food. It's not my fault, I was born this way. Don't you bring Lady Gaga into this. When we did it, I didn't know it was me, and it was when Jacob makes some horrible looking cookies that no, everybody's afraid to try, and he keeps trying to force people to eat them. Carrot cookies, made with carrots and carrot juice. Mm, no, just looking at them almost put me over the top. You know, literally like this year I went, oh, that's about my zucchini muffins. <laughs> <laughs> because they look awful, but they're good. That's and at the says. end of it, she had my character taste one and go, oh my God, those are delicious. Son of a bitch, Shelly, they're delicious. Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl <laughs> had a habit of once or twice of thinking that a white actor was black. And Quinta put it on the show and Cheryl didn't realize it. So she's reading through the table read and she's like, no one's done more for black actors than Tommy Lee Jones. James Earl Jones. And then she went, 
Quinta! <laughs> Quinta, Quinta just went, sorry, Cheryl, I had to. So. Listen, there's no one who can tell me that Percy Jackson isn't black. <laughs> I'll Thank give you. Per- I'll give, per- give that to the me. mislead with Percy. Percy Jackson, you know I mean? I, I young black that. teenager superhero. I, I 100%, Come on, I get it. Orlando I Bloom, one. black football player. Yeah. Give me a no, break. Okay, that Darren we, Star. That's... Darren Star is an artistic young black man. This is where you start He's to an artist. Oh my God, how can you not see it? I was with you it? for Percy. I know I'm not alone. Everyone makes mistakes. Let's give me an emoji to describe season three. Oh my God. The, this. Oh so, yeah, Janelle. Yeah. Yes, that's great. You know, you know that face where the top of the head is blown off and there's nice. just like a cloud? Can I look at my emojis real quick? <laughs> okay, just because my whole energy this year <laughs> has been the salute guy, Hell yeah, we giving you what we gonna come to give you. And I feel good about, feeling good about that way about this season. (laughs)